Hi, welcome everybody. I'm Tony Morella. This is Yogi Yogi's. You're watching Comic TV. It's my favorite day of the week, New Comic Wednesday. It's February 6, 2019. I'm going to tell you about all the hottest covers and variants that came out today. So before we get started, I got a few things that I dug out of the back issue bin, as well as some things I got in the mail. Starting off, we got Harley Quinn. That's a Terry Dodson cover, and that thing is sexy. Just in time for Valentine's Day. I've got this cover right here. Got this as a Strictly cover by two. That's sort of the Batman adventure style Harley Quinn. I love that. And I got this first appearance of Crossbones Captain America 360. Got that for about eight bucks on a bit. And then this morning out in Titan Comics, Bradenton, I got this in the dollar bin. That's a Gabrielle Delato cover right there from Pulse Magazine number two. That's a beautiful, uh, that's a $15 book there. I got Spawn 24, showed you 25 a little while ago that I uh, dug out of the back issue bin. I got a little mini run here. I got 275, that's a sick cover. 276 and 277. Now there's a book out right now, or uh, that uh, is hot right now. It is Spider Women Alpha. I got four copies of this for a dollar each. They go for about 15 bucks on the eBay, but boom. And boom, boom. Strictly a cover purchase. I love Greg Worm's art, and this thing is sexy right there. That's a Miss Marvel cover, and uh, Miss Marvel is super hot right now, so couldn't pick that, couldn't resist picking that up for a dollar. And last, I got this Addy Granoff cover of, uh, that's the uh, Annihilation Nova series. And uh, that's a $10 book as well. So nice steals there. So I'm gonna get to today's books. Starting off, we got Prodigy number three. Mark Millar is writing that, and Raphael Albuquerque is doing the art on it. And uh, I love that cover, I love that title. I told you it's been optioned for a movie, so or, or for a Netflix series, so jump on that. From Dynamite Comics, this is strictly a cover by, I haven't purchased this one since it came out with the Milo Monera cover on the number one, uh, but uh, the writer, artist, and colorist on that book is Mirka and Dolfo, so pretty awesome. You don't see uh, an artist, writer, and colorist on the same book, so that's pretty cool. Red Sonia from Dynamite, that's Mark Russell doing the writing on that new title, and Mirko Kolak doing the art. And the art looks decent inside, but I certainly bought it for that Christian Ward variant. So uh, Batman 64 from DC, Williamson's doing the uh, writing on that, giving uh, Tom King a break. And uh, Gila March is doing the art, and the art looks beautiful inside. And that's the Sean Murphy variant, that's a sideways variant, but you have to trust me on that. Fe uh, Female Furies, this is number one of six. Castellucci is doing the writing on that, and Adriana Mello is doing the art, and it's kind of a 60 size, uh, 60 style coloring and art on that. Not a big fan. I strictly bought it for the Matina variant, but there is a New Gods movie coming out that is supposed to be featuring the Female Fury, so might be a good spec buy in the future, but I think I'm one and done on that. Justice League 17, Scott Snyder doing the writing and Jim Chung doing the art on that, and that is the Will Conrad variant. Beautiful book on that, and been a solid story going. And that's a uh, new story arc starting out on that. And this beauty right here is hot, hot, Derek Chu variant. Uh, Stan Humphreys is doing the writing on that, and John Timms is doing the art, and new art style, a little more serious. Uh, the, uh, the previous, uh, Art on that was real slapstick, cartoony. This one's a little more, a little more straight to the best. So I got a couple copies of that. Now from Marvel, I got Avengers 14. Jason Aaron's doing the writing, beautiful stuff. And uh, Justin Ponce is doing the art on that this uh, this month. And that is the Pacheco Scrolls variant. So if you've been following Avengers, you know Blade has made an appearance. He's part of an Avengers uh, team now. And they're, uh, they're battling the army of the undead or something like that. And uh, the Shadow Colonel is uh, leading that thing. So big goings on in that. Also from Marvel, Conan the Barbarian. I got two covers of this. This is the Assad Ribbit cover, whose art I love. And Jason Aaron is doing all the writing on that as well. And Matt Mood as Rar doing the art. And this is the Pepe Larras Scrolls variant. Love that variant, baby. Woo! So next up, 
Uh, Daredevil starting a new title today. Chip Zdarsky is doing the writing on that title. And, uh, excuse me, and uh, Marco Chiquetto, who was doing Old Man Hawkeye. Nice art on that, and that Tedesco cover is sick, but one of my finds of the day. Thank you, Paul, over at Dark Side Comics. That's my local comic shop here in Sarasota. And I asked him to get me that Gabrielle Delato variant. Man, he came through for me today. Woo! Love it. Deadpool number nine, Scotty Young and Nick Klein doing the art. That series is awesome, man. People get so butthurt about their Deadpool. That book is great. And if you're not following uh, Deadpool versus Black Panther, man, that series is a hell of a lot of fun. That is the Mike Hawthorne Scrolls variant. Speaking of Scrolls variants, I've got the Immortal Hulk 13, Al Ewan doing the writing and Joe Bennett's doing the art. And it's saying that this is the first appearance of the One Below All, but I'm pretty sure last week I saw the One Below All. So I don't know, maybe they're calling this the first full appearance or what have you, but uh, this title is the hottest thing going right now. Uh, Ewing and Bennett are killing it, so if you're not getting it, you're missing out. Old Man Quill, Ethan Sachs is doing the writing on this one, and we got Robert Gill doing the art. I was going to put it down, but the art inside looked uh, interesting, and it looks like you get to see the whole Old Man Guardians of the Galaxy team. Uh, Dead Man Logan came out last week. This is number three of 12, and I'm loving this title. I have Wolverine fatigue, but this title is sick. So uh, you remember uh, Old Man Logan originally, uh, uh, Mysterio made him go insane and think he, uh, he caused him to kill all the X-Men. So he has gone back in time, and he's going to kill Mysterio, so that can never happen. So... Uh, that book is really fun. Ed Brisson's doing the writing, and Mike Henderson is doing the art on that. And that freaking Ryan Benjamin variant cover, that's a 1 in 25. Whoa! What do you think of that, yo? Yeah, that cover is sick. X-23, number 9, Mariko Tamaki doing the writing on that. And Diego Orlitz, the guy, is doing the uh, art on that. Not loving the art, not loving it at all. I like that Ashley Witter cover. That's that uh, new, uh, new X... I don't know. New X-23 clone uh, cyborg type deal. I'm not loving it at all. I'm out. But this age of X-Men, this is Marvelous X-Men, one of five. Uh, this is the Victor Hugo variant sold out on Midtown. Uh, we got uh, Zach Thompson doing the writing and Marco Falla doing the art on that. Looks pretty nice inside. I haven't been loving the X-Men titles, but I got me a double-size X-Men title for not love them. That's the Uncanny X-Men 11. That is the Inhyuk Lee variant, and it is super sick. Got Matt Rosenberg doing the writing on that, and we got Salvador La Roca doing the, uh, the art on that. And the art looks really nice in there, so uh, y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is. So uh, Yogi really loves him some Pepe La Raz. He's a little bit of a barbarian himself, so he likes this uh, Conan the Barbarian Pepe La Raz pick is his pick of the week. Don't you, buddy? So that's all the comics I got for you today. Great haul. So I hope I see you every Wednesday. Hope you tell your friends, tell your kids, tell your wife to like and subscribe Comic TV. So let's build this channel. I'm looking to get up to 50 likes. I'm almost there, so I'm going to start putting out some uh, new content for some subscribers, folks. not likes. All the above. All the above. Like it, subscribe it, tell your friends, tell your wives, and comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see more of or less of. I'm open to criticism. So I'll see you next week. Thanks a lot.